Hi everybody. Uh, today we are going to assemble and test a new type of Sonoff module that I picked up recently. I know you've seen me do videos on these before, but this particular one actually supports a 433 MHz RF remote, which is right here. Uh, usually I just use the Wi-Fi ones, but sometimes it's kind of nice to be able to, you know, just hit a button without talking to uh, the assistant, you know, the Echo or the Home or whatever. So, you know, it's about the same price. I figured why not? It still has the Wi-Fi capability, but this one also uses the RF. So I have a 50 watt LED light that I want to hang over the table here and rather than you put a normal switch on it I figured I'd get this old extension cord and cut the end off and hook it onto here and originally I was going to use one of those uh, you know the Wi-Fi smart sockets and just plug it into that but then I thought why not put one of these in instead so pick this up I have the uh, light and the power wire to the light ready to connect. So let's uh, get the sewn off out and then get it all put together and see where we get with it. So let's see. Looks just like a normal standard sewn off I have. Uh, this is a real sewn off brand. It's not one of the uh, knockoff, which tend to work okay, but these look like they're built a little better. And we have all kinds of stuff sent along. Let's see, what do we have? Some screws. Oh, right, for the uh, end covers. Then basic instructions. I already have that uh, EWE link, UE link, EWE link. I don't know how you say that, but that. I have that installed already. Nice piece of software. Works with the Echo really well. Uh, we're going to be doing this basically because there's the uh, drivers built into the board on this one. But really, it's a it's a line and load thing. Um, power goes in, you know, anywhere from uh, let's see, 90 to 250. So 90 to 250 goes in there. 90 to 250 comes out here with the uh, relay that turns it on and off. But this particular one also has the uh, RF remote, which is pretty neat. And that could be nice if, uh, you know, say you don't want to connect it to the router or you need to take it somewhere and use it. And, you know, it gives you a little more option. I, I can't see a, a normal, regular use. Um, but I may do something like use it out in a garage or something so I can just turn a light on without having a uh, smart device out there. And then, uh, let's see, a Chinese on the back. So far, it looks just as good as all the other Sonoffs I've worked with. Let's uh, let's see what this is. Quick start guide. Let's see German. Oh, here we are. What do we have here? A bunch of German. All right. So you get English, Chinese, and German languages with it. That's pretty good. I got this thing in there. Oh, QC certificate. I like that. So there's their website, sonoff.tech. Cool. All right, so let's get that other cover off. And let's pop this case open and see what the differences are between the uh, RF and the non-RF. I suspect they're going to have one of those uh, little... 433 receivers with the uh, coil and the chip with just the data output on it. Let's see if I'm right. Yep. Alright, so there's a non-RF model. We'll look at that once we go over the uh, RF model. So the difference, the main difference, uh, and actually now I know why, uh, you'll see. The, the other one is actually set up to work like this. This is the uh, receiver right here with the crystal and the little chip there. There's the uh, the antenna. 
I could stretch that antenna out if I needed better reception. But you can see we have three volts, key, LED, KP, whatever that means, and then ground. So looking underneath, see that's the LED. Oh, actually I think this is what I saw. Oh, pardon me. I think this is what I saw on the other one. I don't think I recall seeing that. There's power for it. There's a regulator for it. Oh, it's good to see on this one they're using wire too. The uh, cheapy ones, the non-sonoff knockoffs, if you will, they just have a trace. This is uh, it's a nice heavy wire. That's good. So let's look at the uh, non RF version and see what the differences are. So these can be, you can pair different remotes to it. I did see pairing instructions. So you can use other 433 remotes with that. So that's good to know. I'll put that over here. All right. So here is one of the older ones. Yeah, this is, this is an old one. Uh, Pre-wire, pre-extra wire, we could say. And, wow, yeah, not nearly as good. There's the bottom. I actually wonder if this is a counterfeit sewn off. And if you look at the look at the cases, the plastic's definitely different. The text, the printing's a little different. Look at the Wi-Fi. I bet this one's a knockoff. A knockoff sewn off. Interesting if you think about that. So anyway, let's get back to the differences between the uh, RF and not RF. So you can see this one on the bottom. The uh, cheaper one has the ESP chip mounted to it right there. Uh, there's the Wi-Fi antenna, the ESP chip, and all the power stuff for it. This one has the ESP chip under, see it right there. So it's, it's updated, I guess you could say, newer version. Uh, this module here, I've actually had weird issues with this one. It turns on every day for no particular reason at the same time, and I have no routine set up. So that's why this one's out of use right now. It's like it's getting confused for something else. So that might be another video, figuring out what's going on here. But interestingly, you can see it has the, you know, the data pin headers there, and it's got a spot here, probably also for one of those other kind of RF boards, I'm guessing. So anyway, now that we can see the difference between the uh, RF and the plain Wi-Fi, let's get back to assembling this so that I can use it to turn that LED on and off. Make sure I'm putting this in the right way. I think that's how it goes. It's like hitting on something. Those pins, probably. Yeah. See, they, they should trim those. But that's okay. Obviously the top fit, but this will just make it fit a little better. And we'll slide the top on, making sure to uh, get the button that's on off as well as pairing functions and reset functions. Now let's get our wires. We'll start with the power input. Let's see, in this case, let's see the uh, the plane is the hot, and the ribbed is the neutral. So plane is line, ribbed is neutral. So this is neutral. Let's see if I have to trim that. That might be too long. I don't want, yeah, I don't want any exposed con 
conductor sticking out. So we're just gonna take off just a nibble and see what that does. I really want the insulation to go up against it. Yep, all right. See, it's all the way in there. Get our screwdriver. See, once I get this light up, it'll eliminate all these shadows we're getting right now. And we'll take a nibble off of that one. The same thing. Now you may need to unscrew these depending. I just make sure they're all the way flush with the top. All right. So they're in, that's good. And we'll get our one end cap, the first one, and set that in there. And we'll get our screws. So we have four screws. And they only work if you put them in the thread side down, otherwise they don't tend to work that well. And I, I thought these would all be short, but they tend to grip and go in pretty well, so that's good. And then we'll get the light fixture side. It has two uh, 50 watt boards, I think these are. And then, so it gives us 100 watt for the whole thing, or was it 25 and 25? And I think it was 50 and 50. All right, and then the hot, brown is hot, blue is neutral. Let's see if I can just slide these in, or if I have to uh, get creative. Yeah, a little bit. These are also just a teeny bit long, just barely. hot and neutral and then the other end cap and the way this thing works is it uses that ESP8266 to trip a relay which then passes the uh, electricity over to the other side you know it's pretty straightforward uh, and then this one also has the RF so when it gets a signal from the remote It'll do other things. In fact, let's see. Does it do anything special? Mm. Oops. Uh, yeah, it just says to turn it on and off. I wasn't sure if it would, you know, make it flicker, you know, turn on for a minute and then turn off. But now we can get it ready. I am not going to connect it to the Wi-Fi yet. We're just going to try it with the RF. All right, so as it's booting up, we're getting that green light flashing saying that it needs to be paired to Wi-Fi. So I'm going to point that light a little bit away so I don't swamp the camera, but we'll get the remote ready. And uh, I don't know what button it is, so let's try A. Nothing. B? Nothing. C, nothing. Huh. D, nothing. Is it not paired, maybe? Press the button on the Sonoff RF for three seconds. The red LED will blink once. Then press the button of your remote for a while. And then I guess it'll, let's see, press the button for five seconds. Oh, that's to erase it. Okay. So... One, two, three. Yep, 
Okay. Now we'll learn it B. I don't know how long I'm supposed to hold it for. I figure five seconds is safe. All right, so I taught it A and B. So A can be on and off, B can be on and off. It's really just a toggle. That's pretty sweet. The only other thing I want to do, which I'm sure you've noticed, is this blue is hideous. I want to see it go silver. So let's, uh, yeah, there we go. And then we'll slide the button protector up. That's cool. I like how you can just cover up the buttons. There we are. There we go. There's a the remote. That's pretty good. So you get the idea. Uh, there's plenty of videos on pairing these with Wi-Fi and all that. And my other videos, I think, even have something about it. But for uh, all intents and purposes, we're good with this video. This is a neat little product. Uh, definitely has a niche use, uh, but the fact that it works with the Wi-Fi still makes it very useful. I'm going to hang this light over top of the table here so that we can you know, get some better light for the videos. And I will be using this remote to turn it on and off. And that's really cool. So if you have any questions, stick them in the comments. Uh, if you want to buy one of these, I put a link in the description. It's not an affiliate link, nothing like that. Uh, it's just a cool piece of tech, and I thought I'd share it all with you. So, as always, thank you for watching.